Hey everyone, so in this video we'll see how you can polish your car using a drill with just a few attachments that you can buy online. So as a part of this video, first we'll take a look at these different attachments that I have here. Then we'll see how you can connect them to a drill machine. And towards the end, I'll do a little demo on an actual car. So stick till the very end of this video to see the actual results. And uh, before we get started, just a little disclaimer, uh, since we are converting a drill into a polish machine, uh, you should be extremely careful when polishing so as to not damage your car. So you can use this video as a reference, but then please understand that you are doing this at your own risk. So if you're not comfortable, take your car to a professional detailing center and they'll do the job for you. And if it's a new car, I would recommend that you practice first on an old car and then try this method on your new car. So use this video just as an educational reference. All right, so that being said, let's quickly take a look at the different attachments that you need to buy. Uh, so what I have here first is a seven inch buffing plate pad. Uh, so this has an adapter, which is pretty much similar to a drill bit and this is the thing that would be connecting to your drill machine and on the other side there's this velcro uh, pad on which you need to connect the buffing pad then what we have here is a wool polishing buffing pad so this again has a surface that will easily connect to this particular uh, buffing plate pad and then we can connect this entire assembly to the drill machine and lastly, what I have here is a good quality wax. So I trust this brand Turtle. I've been using it quite extensively and uh, the results are quite good. So uh, for all of these attachments and even for this wax, I've provided links in the description section below. So in case if you want to buy the same things, you can go down there and uh, get to the product details page and uh, purchase those products. All right, so now let's quickly take a look at how these things get attached to your drill machine. Uh, so the first thing that we need to connect is this buffing plate pad to your buffing pad. And since it's it has a Velcro like thing, you can basically place it over here and then press it from all the other sides so that it sticks in well. And yeah, that's basically attached and now comes the part of attaching this to your drill machine uh, so this is pretty much uh, similar to how you would attach a drill bit so i'm just going to place it in here and lock this in all right so now that's perfectly attached and uh, we can get to the demonstration part but before that i wanted to talk a little bit about the technique so the technique for polishing is very subjective to your car and also the wax that you're using so i would recommend you to check videos that focus specifically on how to polish a car effectively uh, but in, in general if i have to add something here i would say that uh, you need to have an ultra clean car and then uh, you need to go gentle on the polishing part and uh, in case if you drop the bu buffing head uh, be careful not to do that but in case if you drop it then you'll pretty much have to discard this buffing head and buy a new one so those are the tips from my side but uh, i would highly recommend you to check videos that are subjective to uh, getting best results while polishing a car so yeah now let's get to the demonstration part now what I'm going to do here is apply wax using a wax applicator pad and then let it dry to a haze. And by the way, for this demo, I'll be polishing only the bonnet of my car, but uh, that should give you a fair idea of this setup. So I'm just going to wax this and let it dry to a haze. After that's done comes the polishing process. So the main thing here is to go in a circular manner and be gentle on the panels. So I'm going to pause the video here for a bit and polish this entire panel and we'll come back when it's done. Okay. 
and finally we need to take the excess wax off so we are going to do that using a microfiber cloth and this will also remove any of the lint that might have fallen from the buffing pad so do this in a circular manner similar to how the the buffing pad moves so that's it for this one guys if you have any questions about the attachments used in this video uh, you can post them in the comment section below and i'll answer them as soon as possible so thank you again for watching this video and do subscribe to my channel